die. Hello. Hello, survivors. <laughs> Welcome to the State of Decay 2 stream. I'm your host, Jeffrey Card. Uh, we have spent the last month revealing brand new content for Update 19, week after week. And finally, Update uh, 19 is out in the wild. People can play it. And we're going to relax. So uh, I've got a team of co-op people here from uh, from Undead Labs, and we're going to just run around and update 19, have a good time. Uh, the first one I want to introduce to you is Nellie Hughes. Nellie, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, Nellie is a senior design manager, very recently my boss, uh, before before my, uh, my my actual manager came back from maternity leave. Uh, she's awesome. Uh, we love having her on the team. And so she is here to play the game and show you what an amazing State of Decay 2 player she is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hey, look, that's Sorry. Brant. Oh, no, we just saw Brant on the screen. Hey, Brant, how are you doing? Sorry about that, Nellie. I didn't mean to laugh about your State of Decay 2 skills. <laughs> oh, you will in a minute. You will laugh in a minute. Uh, Hi, and then, good to see you. And it's not just the two of them. We've also got uh, uh, everyone's favorite producer, uh, Aaron Anderson. Aaron, do you want to say hi? Hi. I uh, haven't seen everyone in a while. I've been in a land of, uh, you know, game intense, announcements. And stuff, intense so. pre-production. Uh, yeah, intense pre-production. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we've got all three of these people. They're going to be, it's going to be auto-switching in the background. Basically, uh, while we're playing the game, whoever talked last is going to appear up here. But we've got all four of us here to play. And so, we've just dropped into, this is the first time I've been playing the live game. Uh, since Update 19 dropped. And so you can see I've got some uh, probably outdated bounties up there in the upper right corner of the screen. So we've got a few different goals today. Uh, first off, uh, we're going to go find the bounty broker. And oops, everybody's heading downstairs. I'll join them. We'll head over to the bounty <laughs> broker and, uh, and and pick some bounties. We're going to look through the bounties because that's the one piece of content from Update 19 we haven't talked through yet is what the bounties are doing. So we'll go check that out. And I went the wrong direction. This is not where the cars are. The cars are over here. So, yeah, so we're going to look at the bounties. Uh, if I find... Oh, looks like Brent's already ready to drive. I'm and trying to get this car on the road. Yeah, so we'll head over to uh, Cash Beaumont. Probably do a little bit of off-roading on the way there. But then uh, and then once we got that, you know, we'll all, we're also going to be look on the lookout for recruits because this is usually my nightmare community. Uh, we've stepped back to Dread to just keep it a little bit chill. But uh, this is my nightmare community, and I've lost so many characters. I can't actually afford to uh to join any of the uh the larger bases so so we need to if, if we get an opportunity to recruit somebody i want to take it but that's kind of our agenda here otherwise you know we've got a few little community announcements to do uh we you know we want to get to know uh the folks that are that are here as my guests but uh otherwise yeah this is this is just uh this is just about hanging out with you folks and playing update 19. so oh also um my daughter provided me with some cookies, and so while Brant is driving, I'm just going to be enjoying some cookies. Hmm. Frozen Toll House cookies. The best cookies ever made. Um, they have not, uh, just so everyone knows, they have not endorsed the show. Now oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nestle has nothing to do with this. This is I'm offering this completely, uh, you know, <laughs> my own volition. Swear half my job is is trying to make sure Jeffrey doesn't get us sued. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I resent that comment in the chat that I'm going to say the f bomb. I <laughs> I was strictly told by Brant before the start of this to not swear during the stream today. We will if see anybody how she does. says the f bomb, it will be me. So uh, <laughs> you know, probably I, while I, being murdered by a zombie. Absolutely, absolutely, and I pre-apologize for it, but I'll I'll try to I'll try not to. <laughs> All right, so let's talk to Cash Beaumont here and see what's up. Okay, so the new updated World War II pack. Let me let me just clear out the bounties that I've been working on. I can work on those later. The new updated World War II pack. Let's see what's in there. So, kill fifteen screamers with explosives. That's not too hard. I think I don't have that many. I've got mostly fire in my base. I don't have a ton of explosives. But uh, that might not be too hard if there's a bunch of uh, infestations on the map. Oh, but this is a newly spawned map. So finding Screamers is going to be a little tough. There's some right here. So that one might be doable. Let's see what else he's got. That's for the aviator helmet, the vintage aviator helmet. Uh, we've got drive 10 kilometers. That's a nice one to have just in the background if you're doing a lot of driving. So we could grab that one. Kill 15 zombies in close combat. So that means some, one of us would have to roll without a, without a weapon. Uh, which, you know, might not be too bad. Ooh, recruit two survivors. That actually is a goal that I have, so that might be worth pursuing. Uh, kill a juggernaut with a heavy weapon. Anybody rocking a heavy weapon right now? 
Oh, I asked you, remember? I was like, should oh, I grab this right. up? And you were like, no, we don't well, need it. I was like, whatever you want. I didn't. I hadn't actually looked through the bounties to see what they were. I Not, knew it. I there's knew nine it of these, and we can only pick three. So so let's see what they all are first. I'll, grab, if everyone pick the close combat, I'll I'll drop my weapon. Okay, so we can we can pick close combat. Okay, so close combat's going to be one of them. Uh, bloaters with pistols. That's a lot of bloaters. I think maybe I'll save that one for later. Um, ooh, Plague Zeds with revolvers. Oh, I just realized... I've, I, I forgot to switch away from my exhausted character who has a revolver, but uh, I might be able to do something with that. And then we got assault weapons. So I don't know if anybody's rocking an assault rifle right now. Go in peace, my friend. I am. You are? Okay, so we could get credit I for that. I just got a pistol. Okay, so let's see here. So why don't we grab... Let's grab Plague Zeds with revolvers. Let's grab assault weapons. And let's see what we can do. I'll, and I will, let me, uh, I'll, I'll switch here out of, uh, I'll, I'll get rid of this. I'll equip my, my axe. So a few of us will be killing zombies in close quarters. Uh, anybody, any zombie we kill with an assault rifle is going to, is going to count. And, oh, wait, revolvers in stealth? Oh. Yeah, you know, I don't think we want that one. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's going to be very specific. Let's drive 10 kilometers. We're doing. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Assault that weapon sense. kills. Close combat. And revolvers, uh, or else and, and we, drive ten kilometers, or else oh, drive ten we, we could do the uh, juggernaut with a heavy weapon as well. That's true. Yeah, so we definitely have to make sure that the right person kills the juggernaut if we've only got one of us with a heavy weapon. <laughs> right. Uh, I feel I feel like I could probably grab an assault rifle, and, and we could all be contributing to, or multiple people could be contributing to assault rifle. So let's let's go with these, and then let's figure out where we want to fight. So we could we could start taking out some uh, plague hearts, or what? Oh wait, what is this? We've got a trader ma oh, making a strange request. We've got oh the rare skills trader could be around here somewhere, and then what is trouble brewing? Ooh, there's a we got a mission where there's some trouble brewing. Maybe we should oh, go yeah. out that mission. Let's get him. Let's go do that mission. Um, did you select it? I think I did, yeah. Are you not okay. seeing it? Way over there. All right. You see it? Okay, yep. cool. Well, yeah. while Brant is getting us there, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up something uh, important. Let's see here. So those of you who have been watching the stream are aware. Whoa, what is happening? Whoa. Your controller went crazy. You're driving <laughs> out of control, Brant. <laughs> <laughs> nuts. So welcome to the vehicle upgrade where this is possible. That's oh my right. gosh. We would have been hung up on something long ago uh, prior to Dan's retuning of the vehicles. Uh, anyway, so uh, if you've been watching the stream, you know that every week we talk about the Red Cross. Uh, if you go to stateofdecay.com slash Red Cross, uh, you, you can see a, you know, a bunch of information on what you can do to contribute to the Red Cross's blood drive this summer. Uh, like we always say, uh, you know, blood is harder to come by in the summer. Uh, people's routines change up. People who regularly donate might not donate, might not have a chance to donate during the summer. And so if you don't usually donate, this might be a great time to do it. And again, especially because of the pandemic. A lot of people are kind of a little you know, spooked, don't want to go uh, get involved in medical procedures uh, during a time like this. But the Red Cross has put a lot of extra effort into making sure that people who give blood are safe and supported. Uh, and you can find all that, all that information at uh, stateofdecay.com slash Red Cross. And uh, one thing, uh, we've actually had a few, um, a few folks uh, show us, uh, basically share stuff with us about uh, going and giving blood. For instance, we've got uh, Jessica Fletcher here, who uh, who went and gave blood and uh, and shared and shared it with us uh, on, on Twitter. And, uh, and Big Lou also uh, put up a little promotional image uh, on his Twitter, uh, pointing out that we've got uh, that you know basically that the that we've got this. This vehicle that's just uh, that that is sort of uh, representing our, our our commitment to the Red Cross's blood drive, and is basically saying, "Hey, look, there's a bunch of doctors who want to who want to take your blood." Now, these guys, because they're in Drucker County, makes me wonder what they're going to do with your blood exactly. But uh, the Red Cross, the actual real life Red Cross, is going to be much much nicer about it. Um, so that's awesome. Thank everybody who's been participating in this. I really appreciate it. And it looks like my team has already moved on without me now. So let's head over here. <laughs> And see what this mission's all about. So we need to speak with Keisha about Xander. Where is? Wait. Uh, I was just fighting zombies. You need to go into the base to talk to Keisha. 
Oh, wait, this... Oh, right here. Okay, I see it now. I mean, for some reason, I've... Oh, there it is. Oh, so my uh, my mission marker was actually hiding behind somebody's uh, somebody's map marker. So okay. I'm just I'm just doing uh, unarmed kills for us. So. Oh, perfect. That's great. Uh, okay, so where is ah? Uh, there she is. Hey there, Keisha. Can I can I can I get up there? Hey there, Keisha. Hmm, what are you doing here? I have a weird question to ask. Oh, wait, is this the cannibals? This is the cannibals, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, somebody called for help from over here, and these guys don't know a thing about it. Oh, it's mysterious. And look, they're staying in one of the uh, fancy bases, so they must be a special enclave. So, okay, well, let's go talk to Mark, see if he heard anything about this distress call. Mark, where are you? Mark? Oh, are you up here, too? Just, uh, watching for your next meal? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're a hearty and hale-looking one. Can I help you? <laughs> nope. Okay, well, I guess we'll, uh, you know, we got some cannibals here that we got to worry about. Awesome. Uh, uh, showing up in that car is like the Uber Eats of the apocalypse for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, they don't know if we're not cannibals. We could be cannibals. Maybe we're all cannibals. Yeah, maybe it's one of those like awkward conversations where it's like both of us are cannibals, but neither of us wants to admit first that we're a cannibal <laughs> before we hear the other yeah. person's a cannibal. It's really awkward. <laughs> I don't understand. They've got a Mexican restaurant across the street, uh, which is the best food in the world, and um, they still choose to eat humans. That's crap. So, okay, so I, I definitely need to get water and power at my base. Uh, so where... Should, should we head up towards, uh, like... Can I actually get water at the water tower? There, yeah, there's this place to get water at the water tower. Can we can we just yeah. head north and, uh, and and go go get some water? And maybe I can actually switch out my weapon uh, once we've claimed an outpost. You want the ten thousand gallon hat? Ten thousand gallon hat. Yeah, let's claim that sucker. I got shotgun this time. Nice. Good. I can see if I fixed a bug with one of the LODs too on the way. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, something Viscid wants to know, what difficulty is this? So we're playing in Dread right now. Uh, oftentimes when we're playing co-op, we'll play Nightmare just to make sure the extra challenge is up there. But we wanted to, you know, we wanted to chill out a little bit after uh, releasing update 19. So we stepped it down to Dread uh, just to, to, to make it a little bit easier on us. We still might run into some Blood Plague Juggernauts, though. Uh, Greasy1989 wants to know, uh, what historical reference is the FBI rifle? I know we've talked about this in some of our previous streams, um, and actually maybe uh, maybe I'll post a link up there once we put this on YouTube. But um, but yeah, Brent, do you recall what the what the specific historical relevance of the uh, FBI fighting rifle was? This is one well, of the weapons that's, that was unlocked with the new World War II pack. It was specifically in response to criminals upgunning their arsenals, right? The a classic Bonnie example, and Clyde type people. Yeah, a classic example is the impact that. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde had on um, the armaments that federal agents had or used. So, so yeah. So the BAR is originally uh, it, it's classically a World War II weapon, but the version of it that we've got there in the um, in uh, what am I trying to say uh, on the bounty uh, for, from the bounty broker that FBI fighting rifle is 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 linked to a different part of history where uh, yeah, like basically the FBI needed to. We got into an arms race with the, with all the criminals and bank robbers that were well rampaging. and people got to remember that we're taking some creative license too right yeah that's so. true <laughs> so danger zone wants to know uh, how come we can't recruit the cannibals uh we didn't actually simulate cannibalism in our game and so trying it's to invite terrible. the cannibals <laughs> Trying to invite the cannibals to your community would kind of presume that they would continue eating people in your community, and that's just not something that we that we wanted to include as a game mechanic, so we didn't. Okay, so now we've claimed this outpost. People can start swapping out their stuff. Let me... I'm going to change my character because... That's a good idea. I might actually... Yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to do, too. So Monster's not going to last much longer. I'm going to give this revolver back to this character, and then I'll switch. Because I think, yeah, because I'm already getting fatigued here. I, I've been sitting here as this character um, all afternoon, so I should switch it up. So I'm going to be Moses. So 
So Moses actually looks like one of our uh, former co-workers uh, who's recently gone and joined the uh, the Halo team. So we miss him very much, but his face is immortalized forever in our game. Wait, let me see. Where are you? I'm right here. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> so let's get him. Okay, so do we already have an assault rifle on this guy? It looks like, yeah, SWAT 416 with a professional break. We've got a heavy weapon, the Guandao. Um, but I think I'll take it off right now until we're definitely done killing zombies in close combat. And are we ready? To, are we ready to go? We've got oh, we've got water, so I should actually yeah. see if I can Cuddle. upgrade. Yes. My character Cuddles has a heavy weapon on her. So uh, my favorite, my favorite thing is the names of these characters. So, so you've got Cuddles, Brent playing Levi, and oh wow! So uh, uh, <laughs> Nelly, you're playing Vicky. I am playing Vicky. That's cool. So so that's kind of funny that you're playing Vicky because so Vicky is the name of my manager at the office. Uh, but Vicky went on maternity leave, and so for a while Nelly was playing Vicky for me. She was my manager uh, while Vicky was gone, and so Nelly is playing Vicky once again uh, <laughs> in our game. So, <laughs> oh, blows your mind. So so Nelly, since we've got you here, and 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 people, you know, folks in the audience haven't spent as much time with you as they have with Brant and Aaron and me. Um, do you want to sort of give a little bit of your background, like where you came from before, uh, you know, before you joined the the undead labs team oh my gosh um Aaron, well get in the car we'll find a new place to go don't ask questions i know this is hard i have to pay attention and talk no, you, can um, just ride. you just ride along and then you answer and then when we get to a fight you can stop well i know i let's see well i was a a game designer for about 13 years before i went into this role uh primarily in mmo content design so i've worked so on stuff like City Heroes and Star Trek Online, uh, Champions Online. Um, hey, do we I want did... that crown, Vic? Uh, Ooh. We've got kind of a fancy car already. So I, I like this car. Yeah, let's go with this car. And so do you see the uh, the infestation that I marked on the map? Uh, the yellow marker? Uh, now I do. Yeah, let's, okay. let's go down there. It's dangerously close to the base. Okay, so so uh, so um, Nelly, you did uh, so you did content stuff for City of Heroes, other MMOs, and stuff like that, and then you got into management. So, like, what is? Do you want to like, explain to the audience what the difference is between, say, you know, being a manager of designers versus being, say, the lead designer on on a team? Because both of those are leadership positions, but they work in different yeah. ways. Yeah. So, like, being a lead on a project really focuses on, like, um, you know, making sure that the quality of the content is there, and like making sure that you're hitting, you know, the dates and stuff like that. And being a manager is really focusing on like the people themselves and making sure that they're like growing and, um, you know, working, becoming experts in the craft of of game design. So that's those. That's kind of like the most simplest way to kind of break it down between right. the two. Yes. Yeah, so the manager th keeps people on track. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so well, Lead does too, you know. Lead but, but it's too. more about like the inanimate object, and that's sort of the. Oh, I just like, I don't have any. I forgot to grab any ammo. Well, that sucks. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. So, the, like, like for me, like being the design director on a project, it's mostly about. It's less about the people, and it's more about the inanimate object that we're all working on together. And so, for me, because I get along better with inanimate objects than people, uh, you know, be, being a, a design director is, is, is an appropriate job for me. But you're actually really good with other humans, uh, Nelly. Yeah. Which, <laughs> so, so you spend your day worrying about people much more so than inanimate objects. Yes, yes. I, uh, I'm, I'm much better at dealing with people than, than video games these days. As you can tell, as I die... Oh, man, we've got, we've got a whole, like... I know, of... they're running after me! One of them has a cone on his <laughs> oh, head, he's all dirty. Oh, oh, yep. Anyone know where the screamer is? Uh, over here, by me. There's two of them. <laughs> no. There we go. Turned on god huh. mode. Oh no! Oh, got so many people gathering. Okay. Trying not to swear. Oh. Trying not to swear. Uh, if I had realized I didn't have any I'm ammo. I'm so glad I the heavy weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I've got nothing. Oh, wait, wait, oh, I've got, I've got some fire. I've got some fire. Hey, guys, I need a rest. Hey, have a little fire, Scarecrow. Doesn't work on the armored guy, but it does work on the other two. Uh, so I'm trying to, like, capture my combat here, but also everybody else is in the background. Hey, we got a bounty done. Nice. Good. Oh, hey, He's the whole building's on fire. Awesome. <laughs> 
I live on this car roof now. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh. Oh, you got it, Brant. All right, there we go. There's still okay. There's still one zombie left. Uh, there's for this a feral there, there too. There's a feral. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm killing it. that. I got it. Okay, cool. He's dead. Whew, we did it. All right, good, good team. Well, I'm just going to fast search and attract more zombies. How's that sound? I need to go home. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I am let's, all, let's all head back to my every, base. Because uh, yeah, I yeah, have to drop some ammo. Uh, help in the infirmary. <laughs> yeah, I'm hurt. Where did I drop the car? It's, uh, it's, oh, it's over here. And the car needs some help, too. I don't have a mechanic in my base, though, so I can't make toolkits. I got us covered on that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would love to have some toolkits from you if you got them. Picking up. I got. I already have way more materials than I need because I uh, basically um, broke down a nightmare base in order to take over a dread base, and so I just had way more materials than I could possibly do anything with. Uh, I don't want to drive. Take, get me out of here. Brant, you drive. I'll drive this time. All right, okay. somebody else drive. I'll okay. get out. Go All for right. it, Aaron. Take us home, Aaron. This is actually a really short drive, so enjoy. Oh, where is it? Where where was our house? Oh, I see it's it. It's just right up the hill. <laughs> a little easier to get up the hill these days. Yeah. Shit. Hmm. Just getting situated. So uh, we had a question from M from MRD Gaming <laughs> saying, "I thought Update 19 would fix the boon glitch. Boons are still inactive in the green zone." So we did verify internally that we had fixed that. Uh, now, if you started a new game in the green zone and didn't get and didn't have access to the boons you wanted, but you still started the game without the boons, um, that game is still it's going to have whatever boons you chose up front, and, you're, and we're not going to suddenly be able to add boons uh, to a game that you've already started. But if you started a new game at this point, it really should work. Aaron, Aaron's doing a great job, by the way. I really Aaron's appreciate. drunk. <laughs> I just wanted to see how much stuff I could like crash this thing over. I just, uh, you know, Brent. I think we might not actually need any repair because I think this car is going to be exploded by the time we get back to the base. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm out. That's good. We're good. <laughs> Well done. Um, I'm going to park this in the parking space so that we, I can uh, empty the trunk. That was All the, right. Aaron awesome. doesn't get to drive anymore. <laughs> uh, I give him to look away at my regular screen here so I can see because yeah, I've got a slight little delay when I'm staring too closely at OBS. Okay. That's why I like uh, the dev builds because I just keep spawning in cars and crashing them. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to head to, so, Brant, if you can retrieve a couple of repair kits, I've got two yeah, hours here, I'll we can probably use them. Oh, another thing I should do, though, by the way, is I should call in the Bloodmobile. Oh, we don't have any medical supplies. Oh, what do you mean? Have, oh, you mean, like, if, at, at your base you don't have any medical supplies? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, we can probably mean? pull some out and share those. Okay, so I don't actually have any bullets for this gun. What guns do I have bullets for? Let's see. I just got some trauma, but it's fine. Oh, here, Aaron, I'll I'll drop you a med kit. Oh, this one. Oh, sweet. This one. Um, let's see. I need that, and I need that. Okay. All right. So yeah, so we've got the JL ninety four custom, which I think that counts as assault, right? Um. It counts as rifle. It's a rifle. So it does not count as assault. Okay. No, because the fault is uh, when you can switch the fire mode, like, uh, you know, my auto auto, ooh, whatever. Got assault pistol, oh, but no rounds for it. Assault shotgun, gave my rounds to Nelly. Uh, Raiders AR-15, no bullets. Hmm. Sw that's the one I just had. I might not have an assault weapon that I can uh -oh, I'm stuck. fill with rounds. All right, car's fixed. Okay, good, uh, cool. I guess what you know, I'm just going to use this, uh, this JL-94 then. And uh, Aaron, where are you? Wait a minute. I'm in the back. Right here. It's not the bullets for this. I grabbed the go. wrong rounds. Ah. Okay, here we go. Uh, what's the trick for when you're stuck? Uh, it's literally. A, it's a radio option uh, called stuck. Okay. So you... Press up, right? 
push down on the D-pad and then um, hit the uh, one of the bumpers until you see the radio command. Oh, I'm dumb. Yep. Why'd you get stuck on in here? Did you get? In, uh, how did you get inside the wall? What did you do? I I don't know. <laughs> I I can manage to break everything though. So. Uh, did you come up through QA? Yeah. There's no, I did not. I oh, did no. not. Come <laughs> QA, no. Funny. All right. I saw like a really funny comment about my driving that said it's a rental. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, Jeffrey, I only have 28 556 five, bullets if you need an assault rifle. Oh, um I have uh some 556 five, on me. I think yeah, if 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 you've got 762, I think I've got a 762 I can switch. I think there's a Stormbringer in here. Yeah, we should we should periodically bring one of the community members in so they can actually give us the stuff we need to play the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly, right? So what, was it a Stormbringer that I had? Yes, I have a Stormbringer. So if you've got 762, I've got a Stormbringer. So feel free to drop stuff at my feet anytime you like. Uh, so, okay, so following up, by the way, so somebody still asked a question about the green zone boon situation. So one possible explanation that occurred to me was that maybe, you know, you still had a community that had already selected its boons and, and, and you didn't get anything from, from, from the update. That makes sense. Another possibility is sometimes... Um, We've had some bugs with save migration where uh, it, it's just difficult to, to sort of move an existing game into the latest update and get all the advantages. Sometimes weird little bugs will creep in that we never anticipated with, with, because of a strange mismatch between the build you had and the build you got. Um, and so we, we fixed a lot of those, but it's entirely possible that some have still crept in. So um, Anna, uh, the, the, the programmer who's, who's been uh, you know, working on, on, on difficulty stuff, uh, she's, she's seen this comment, and so she's made a note to go and look and see if there's anything that she can do to make it better. Uh, so thanks for bringing that up to us. Uh, if people have any other issues with, with update 19 or anything they're seeing in the game, go to support.stateofdecay.com because that is a really good place that you, uh, Joe Swarner, who you guys have met on the stream, uh, runs that site and, uh, you know, basically knows a lot more about, you know, the problems that can happen in, in the game than any of the rest of us. Uh, and, and if he can't help you with your problem, then he can tell us about the problem and we can try to help. So, uh, definitely go there if you've got any issues. Uh, so Nightmaker1979 asks, uh, which of the team designed the new layout of Drucker County? So uh, so Drucker County, is it doesn't necessarily have a... I guess it does have a new layout in some places where they added some uh, dirt paths and stuff like that. So uh, a couple weeks ago, we spoke with uh, with, with Doug Juno. Um, he was the, the, the world builder who came in here to talk to us about Drucker County. And uh, and he... It's not just him alone. He's got a, a whole team of people that he works with to, uh, to to get all this map work done. But yeah, but he, he was the lead of that team. Uh, and so if you want to go back and look at that... Uh, um, and look at that video. Uh, you can you can get to know that guy and, and 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 sort of hear the way he thinks about about you know the decisions that they were making on the map. <laughs> All right, Sorry. I got cuddles ready to go. Like I made it back. Fixed. Okay, I think I'm in good shape too. We should go out and uh, murder some things. Oh wait a minute. You know, I never. I never. Oh, Brand, did you drop some ammo for me? I just realized we talked about that, but I never had. No. Uh, one. The only thing I dropped was my connection to our meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. I wonder what happened because you were sitting there frozen on the screen for a little while. I didn't want to say anything. Um, but yeah, if you if you've got seven six two, I I would definitely benefit from that. We could. Uh, I'll find some here. Hold on. And then maybe we could, if we head back to the bounty broker. Uh, we can swap out that one bounty that we completed with the with the uh, close combat weapons. Yeah, I also have the heavy weapon now, but I think it's for juggernaut kills. That's true. So we'll have to just go f f hunting a, a juggernaut. Is what we'll have to do. Yeah. I'll, gra I'll grab. I'll grab a. Uh, I'll grab the guanda again. Grab a heavy weapon as well. Yeah, let's all grab heavy weapons, and we'll grab that one and see if we can find a juggernaut. <laughs> so what I like about my character is character cuddles but is also kind of annoying is she gives a morale hit to my community oh yeah because she has to cuddle at night oh the reason that it, she's cuddling that she's named cuddles is because she cuddles with everyone yeah and it makes the other like survivors in the community mad so their morale drops and she can't <laughs> sleep by herself but she doesn't cost a bed that's how that trait works right so that's she doesn't cost a yeah. bed but she bothers yeah. everyone by getting into bed with them yes yeah <laughs> it's so great. annoying I, I have a child like that, and it is super annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, Jeffrey, here's some 7.62. All right, here we go. All right, well, let's get back to the car. 
Am I driving again or? Oh, absolutely. Nope. Aaron, Aaron should definitely drive us halfway <laughs> there and then we can walk the rest of the way. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get in the back. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to automatically jump in the front. Oh, look at that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there we go. Where are we going, by the way? Uh, let's head back to the bounty broker real quick to swap out that bounty. I've got it marked. And while Brent is getting us there, uh, I've got a few other uh, things I wanted to show us from the uh, show from the community. I'll just pretend that he didn't hit anything because I think I switched away just in time. So, uh, so Megan has actually set up a new Snapchat filter uh, for us. It's based on uh, the teaser trailer for State of Decay Three. Uh, and so we got a few people who reacted to it who really liked it. For instance, uh, we've got ASRB Gaming here who is freaking out that there's a zombie deer uh, about to bite his head off, uh, which is a great picture. Thank you for sharing that, ASRB. Uh, and we've also got, uh, of course, Fallout Girl uh, showing us the same thing. So if you want this, basically, if you search for State of Decay 3 on Snapchat or Snap Camera, uh, this should be it should be pretty easy to find. Uh, so that's, that's the instructions that Megan gave me anyway. So uh, definitely look that up. Uh, when you get the chance, if you're interested. And where are we? Oh, we're about to go off the cliff. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, Brand's been driving like a crazy... He flipped us over so many times, and I'm like, well, I could have done that. Oh, Megan wants me to correct myself. Megan didn't set it up. She just knows where it is. Somebody over on the Xbox side set it up. I just assume that Megan does everything because she does so many things. All right. So we're getting the heavy weapon one, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this one and get a free trench tool out of the deal. And then let's uh yeah, juggernaut with a heavy weapon, get getting the tank hammer. Alright, so if we see a juggernaut, we definitely have to fight the juggernaut. And uh in the meantime. Oh hey, we got some uh, zombies over here for me to shoot. Wandering hordes around here. I haven't loaded my gun yet. Oh, what the zombie behind me. What the heck? Why am I such a bad shot? Okay, there we go. That's funny. Get good. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so let's see. Where are we most likely to actually encounter each other? I'm gonna go scout. Let's see. Did one of those hit. Oh, that's true, actually. If, if there's a good, is there a good cell tower around here that we can, like... Yeah, there's a cell tower. Let's use a cell tower and see if we can see any juggernauts nearby. I'm headed that direction. Oh, wait a minute. I guess we should get in the car. So we can all go at the same time. You see you see where I've marked that cell tower in the middle of the plateau? If there's any juggernauts on this plateau, we'll probably be able to find them. I managed to kill a juggernaut right before we started the stream, so... If I had met, <laughs> I was trying to avoid him the whole time so we could fight him on the stream, but then that didn't happen. So <laughs> he saw me coming when I when I drove home one time. So I'm like falling out of the car. Yeah, <laughs> Somet yeah. Sometimes uh, the cars can get a little confused when we're uh, playing multiplayer. <laughs> Wait, how do I get in this cell tower? I parked right in front of the door. I but I'm bad at things. I don't know how I could make it easier, easier for you. <laughs> right. Get up here. Yes! This is the view that you all came here for. These are... <laughs> yes! Oh, I hurt myself by falling off. rubbing this butt right all, all over the camera. It's great. Oh, yeah. He's got Those are what people play games leg. for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so much to look for. Yeah, if you did like a breakdown of what people do uh, when they're playing video games, there's you know there's all these different activities, but I think staring at a butt is usually like a pretty high percentage. Yeah, we recognize that as game devs. Yes. Nothing yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything either. I see a police cruiser over there though. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I got a Molotov in my bag. Uh, come use it on the 30 zombies that are attacking. Oh, oh, that I'm about to die. Oh. 
Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, there I go. Yep, I just ran right into oh, them. Oh, oh. oh, no. Ah, uh, don't worry. You're good. Oh, and I'm reloading. Oh. What's going on? Where are these people? I'm dying. Where are these people? Dead. No! You're no, not dead. No, no, Nelly, you're not allowed to die without me catching it on camera. Molotov. You still need it? They're all no. dead. Hey, I didn't die. Thanks nice. for coming over, though. <laughs> <laughs> I could see from the top of the tower, like down here with the horde around. I was like, uh, I, I mean, I got the Molotov. I don't know. No, no, Aaron, great. That was really helpful. Thank you. <laughs> it took a long time to get down from the tower. <laughs> Well, I just like ran right into that group of like ten of those guys. Oh, there's a bloater out here. Hi, bloater. Ugh. Don't run over. No, no, don't go over there. So we didn't see any obvious juggernauts uh, while we were up there. We didn't do a full complete search, but you know, maybe if we go and find a blood plague or a plague heart, yeah, it'll attract some nasties. Uh, yeah, it will. At the very least, we uh, you know. Get oh, like over using here? assault weapons. I'll just start shooting everything so it's really loud and we attract a bunch of zombies. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, that's always a good plan. Nice. Alright, so where is the actual play card in this building? Uh oh, return to base. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. We got enough ammo. We're fine. Okay. Oh, here's the plague heart. Hello, plague heart. Oh, ah, get off me. Get off me, little monsters. Are right, you dealing with these guys? <laughs> you got it. And then I'll. I'm gonna throw some explosives in here. I think I'm having anything else. Oh, get out of there, Brant. <laughs> we did it. Of course, I used almost all of my 7.62, but uh, whatever. I mean, Brant's 7.62. I don't have any more either. That stuff is expensive. <laughs> terrible. Okay, I've got a King Vulture out of the deal, though. That's pretty good. Oh, and I got a, uh, a there's a mini fridge acid sword. Bunch of stuff in here. Hey, uh, Nelly, if you need bandages, there's bandages in there. Yeah, I see. Don't go outside the front door. What's out there? A bloater cloud. Oh. So, um, Renee uh, asks, how long has everyone played State of Decay 2? Now, they might have been asking everyone in the chat. But uh, it's kind of hard to estimate how long you've played a game that you're developing because you do so many little tests uh, over the course of a day. And you're playing with so many different accounts. You get your home account, you get your work account. You get, like, like, there's no one place that can aggregate the number of hours that you spend playing a game. But it's a lot. Uh, we try to do regular play tests at the studio. Uh, like every Friday, we, everyone devotes some time to play, testing, uh, to play testing the game and checking out all the latest stuff and making sure that, you know, we're getting a nice broad range of feedback from everybody at the studio. And also, we want everyone at the studio to really understand what game we're making. You know, it's very easy if you've got one uh, very focused job to just do that job all the time and not really, um, you know, uh, get the full picture. But we really want everyone at the studio to be creatively invested and, and, and you know, uh, and, and to contribute not just um, to the individual jobs they've been assigned, but also, you know, to contribute ideas to the, to the larger group and the larger strategy. And to do that, everybody's got to be playing the game and everybody's got to, you know, know what's going on. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we put a lot of effort into, into trying to, you know into making sure that, uh, that we all get chances to play and not just to build. Oh, you know what we could... I'm betting that Siege might contain a Juggernaut if we head it home right now. Uh, I There's another spot we can go farm on this map. Oh, yeah? Do you want to go there first? Yep. Or, okay, well, I'll follow your lead then. Yeah, like I saw people that are like, on my personal account, they're like, well, you work and make State of Decay, but... You only have so many hours on it on your personal account. I'm like, yeah, you should see how many hours I have in it on my dev account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many hours. 
Oh, look at that beautiful Norma. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's nice. Goodbye, Norma. See you later. It's red, too. That's kind of, uh, that's not the most common color for it. No, it's pretty rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a lot of times there's a jug just waiting on this stretch of road. Uh, so, so Wizard of Video Games asks, uh, do play cards have a mouth? Uh, they sure do scream. Who did the voiceover for that? Uh, so I know that, I know that, I think, didn't Kevin himself, our audio director, do a lot of the original zombie voices? I don't know yep. if, it, if, if all of the zombie voices now still represent his voice, but he, he I think um, love the early stuff. Except for the female stuff, all male zombies are Kevin, Kevin's voice. So I'm assuming that probably includes the play, the, 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 the play cards, but who knows? Because there's so many different ways to get noises like that. I mean, some of it is, comes from human voices. Some of it is probably, you know, combinations of animal voices and things like that. That's what, you know, when, when we've had the audio guys on here, that's what they talk about, that a lot of those sounds come from mixing a lot of different things to create something that's, that's, that's unique but still has familiar touchstones. Because you know, your, your brain is set up to recognize certain sounds as meaning certain things. And uh, and so you know they try to take advantage of what they know about people's reactions to different uh, different sounds to create sounds that, that cause a certain emotional effect. Um, so uh, I think it's Via Alajarvi. Maybe it's Villa. I, I I'm so sorry I'm butchering your name, Villa uh, Alajarvi. But um, they say yeah, I really like the new car handling mechanics. Great job. Oh no. Oh no, but. Especially, especially our ability to drive straight through plastic cones. Uh, Aaron, will you make me a pry one to fix that damn Yes, thing? yes. How could you do this? I will write you a bug. Oh, what? There we go. That's how that works. Oh, hey. Yeah. I was killing that. Oh, whatever. I was killing that. So apparently you were. That's true. <laughs> Ugh, you keep beating me. We're like, we're like, like, we're like Legolas and Gimli, but I'm Gimli. <laughs> I wouldn't mind fighting side by side with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Akina Shark asks, is car spawn determined at map creation or just when you first approach an area? It's on map creation. So, all, so things basically, car distribution and loot distribution are all kind of decided um, at, uh, at, at at well, okay. So it's com it's complicated. There's certain high level decisions. Car car distribution is definitely decided uh, as as you load up the map um, for the for, for the very first time. Uh, loot distribution, a lot of high level decisions about which containers contain things and what kinds of things are allowed to contain do get made uh, when you first generate the map and can't be changed after you've generated Whoa. the map. Why'd but... you get out? What? Well, get out? No, no. Aaron <laughs> jumped out. Sorry. Okay. I thought you were telling me to get out. No, no. Get back in. Get back in. No, oh, Nelly! Ah! <laughs> Nelly! Well, I keep kind of like hanging out of the car too, so it's like I'm getting car sick all the time. So, I don't, like, I like it. I feel like, you know, if we were really driving like this, this is how I would act. It, like, it's a oh, realism simulator, yeah. you know? <laughs> yes. There's nothing more exciting than watching the asphalt go by, like, two feet away from your face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so while loot, like the actual, like which exact objects are, are in which exact containers is determined as you're searching the containers, um, it's still the high level decisions about where the loot is broadly distributed is made when you generate the map. And the same thing with the vehicles. Vehicles are decided when you generate the map. So if you've generated a new map and you don't like where the vehicles are, then there's not much you can do about it except for ordering a new vehicles over the radio. Like, like the Bloodmobile, which I can't order again for another two and a half hours. Well, we just completed a bounty, so we can head back. Yeah, let's head back to Bounty Broker. That's good. Still need to get that Juggernaut. Now, we've got two and a half minutes to get back home for that siege if we want to have the siege. We could Let's head see. home. But, oh, man, could we get there in two and a half minutes, though? Oh, I think we could do it. Come on, Brian. Brian. Yeah, let's, let's get there. See if we can do it. Brian can do it. Don't, we don't go on the drive. Nelly's yeah. just continuously vomiting out the back of the car. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like I said, it's how it would be in real life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, my family just went on a camping trip for the first time in a really long time, and we only had one kid throw up on the way to the uh, oh. on the way to the camp, which was nice. Oh no. man, I, I used to get way. pink eye every time we went oh, really? camping. <laughs> that was like the known thing. It's like, where's the closest ER? Because we need to go get pink eye medicine. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would just take some with me if that's the case. I know. You think we would have learned our lesson, but you know, every time. Leave. Maybe not yes. this time. Yes, exactly. You keep having faith in that faith. Oh. Not... oh, oh, Juggernaut, Juggernaut. Right there. Oh, and a feral. Oh, cool. And I've got like five bullets left. Sweet. Oh, shit. Tackled by the barrel. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. Oh, I'm gonna really die now. Again? Oh, yo, yep, yep. Wait, are you actually dying? I can't. No, no, I don't think. So. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, feral, Did we get feral? Dead. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh yeah, now I'm getting swarmed. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh shit! Sorry. Uh, fire in the hole, Aaron. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out of healing stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Don't throw. Don't turn blood or blood jugs on fire. <laughs> I love that bug so much. Oh. Is that a bug or is that intentional? That, that he just catches fire and stays, keeps going? I think it's a bug. Because he like stays on fire forever. <laughs> and like everything he touches lights on fire. Do you remember I, that? I think that might have actually been a real decision. I mean, like, I think he's even got like unique art. Yeah, we did it. For when he's better. Yeah. Nice. Bounty complete. And now I need to go uh, give myself a plague cure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I definitely have like. I have no health and I plague. Somebody get in the car. Plague. Yeah, right. I got the plague. Let's go I have 26 minutes to live. Let's go, let's except, go back to base. Except, did we skip the, uh, all of us are going to show up in this condition and there's a siege as well? Uh, I, think the siege, I think we <laughs> missed the siege. Fine. It'll yeah, be fine. I think the siege happened okay. when we were gone, so we're good. Because that would not be fun. Yeah. Again, what could go wrong, you know? I mean... No Norseman gaming. I did not say the F word yet. Although I did say the S word by accident. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, you know. S happens, yeah. Uh, shoot. Is that what you said, Aaron? Shoot? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Brant must be so disappointed in me right now. Nope. I was about to say shit right there. <laughs> Oh, I'm injured. I might need to grab a uh, first aid kit or something. I gave the only two I had to um, Aaron. Yeah. Who's probably already used them. I think we, yeah, I, I've got I, jumped off, I jumped off that cell tower to try and save you with a Molotov. That didn't nice. help. <laughs> I like it. I like your commitment, though. Yeah. I like jump from the top, too. Like, I should have died. I didn't. Uh, I dropped a couple yeah. of uh, first aid kits if folks want to recover injuries. Oh. Oh, where are they? I need them. They're on the floor Help. behind the okay. uh, Help. top of the stairs. Got any plague cures in here? Um, you need a plague cure. I don't know if I've got plague cures. Yes, I do have plague cures. I'll dr uh, do you need two? Uh, I just need just need one over here. Brant, did you need one or do you have it? I just made one. Okay, I've got, I've got one right here, uh, Aaron, at my feet. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I'll Thank just you. stand on it so you can't get it. Yeah, very helpful. <laughs> well, it looks like the sun's starting to go down. It's been a lovely, productive day. So wait, oh, I think, do I have some of these bullets? Let's see. This caliber of ammo. Wow, the day-night cycle lined up perfectly with our... Oh, I know. It's, it was really good. <laughs> well, I've got, so I've got my new uh, World War II pack uh, trench tool, which is nice. Uh, do we want to once we once you guys are already want to head back to the bounty broker and resolve some of this stuff? Sure. Yeah, I'm I'm ready. I just had to get somebody who wasn't profusely bleeding from every organ. <laughs> All right, let's get back in our favorite little car. We're gonna get an army helmet. We're gonna get a tank hammer. It's gonna be great. 
Um, let's see. I need to get one more thing. So, uh, Brent, you might know the answer to this question. Righteous Ham asks, uh, kind of curious as to why the hospital is not explorable beyond the first floor. Was it a technical limita limitation or a design choice? Uh, technical limitation mostly um, because the the top of that plateau in Santa Maya is um, the, it's all in the same streaming zone and uh, the hospital having multiple floors with a bunch of crap in it would have taken up sort of needless space for objects. And we'd rather have one house with another house full of stuff than one more floor of that hospital. So yeah, so basically each floor of the hospital would have cost as much as an entire separate building uh, resource wise. And so like, yeah. if we just if we just limit what the hospital can be, instead of having it be like a building full of 30 containers, just let it be a normal building with normal containers yeah. and then have more of those buildings. Yep, you're driving, Jeffrey. Oh, uh, what? I, oh, I didn't realize I was driving. That's very inconvenient. Okay. All right. Well, I wouldn't I'll describe what you're doing right now technically as driving, <laughs> but I mean you're in control of the vehicle. Let's say that. There we go. Oh, this will be fine. This will all be fine. Uh, wait, where are we going? Uh, going back to the bounty broker. Back to bounty broker, which means cutting through this whole area. We're just gonna go as the crow flies. That's how we're gonna oh, do this. Boy. Yeah, now we can because we got all that better clip. Let's <laughs> oh, go yeah. right over rock. No problem at all. This is how we would <laughs> definitely drive in the zombie apocalypse. Absolutely. That's right. We're all about realism. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> absolute authentic zombie survival uh, experience. All right, so we've only got like eight minutes left. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I don't. I think we've covered all of the topics we were going to talk about. We got to know Nelly. We got to. We talked about the Red Cross. We showed off uh, the Snapchat filter, and uh, we looked at the bounties. Uh, what? So we've got another like the, the whole second half of a year coming up here. Are you guys looking forward to any new games that are coming out from other studios anytime soon? What are you guys waiting for? Excited about Valhalla. Hello. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing! Mm. I can't wait to yeah. play it. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Aaron on that one. I, I just okay. got my I just got my cyberpunk art of book in the mail today. Ooh, so what? you got it right there? Yeah. No. Nice. Oh my god. Yes. Um, one, of the, one of the things I love about working at Ed Labs is everybody here is like is it's like you know, really I don't know, enthusiastic about the game about the game industry and what other people can what even what other people are doing. We're not just about our own games, but everybody just loves games. Uh, not every, I mean, not every, we all play different genres and different kinds of games and stuff like that. We're not all the same, which is actually really nice because, you know, if there's something that, you know, that, that I haven't, uh, that I haven't played, uh, somebody else at the lab is really likely to have played it. But yeah, just hearing all this enthusiasm that people have, uh, for, for the other games that are out there is, is a lot of fun. So I'm gonna grab yeah, I got Grounded installed and ready. Oh yeah, I've been playing Grounded with my kids. That's a lot of fun. Oh, nice. I can't wait. I'm excited. All right. So I think for... I'm going to definitely recruit two survivors and then revolvers and stuff. Why not? Okay, so yeah, it kind of doesn't matter what I pick now because we don't have time to, to get any of these anytime soon. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been excited for Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is still coming out this year, right? Because I know that they, they got pushed back a couple oh. of times, which is good. No, I always love it when I hear that a game gets pushed back because that means that they've got the time and the resources to try to get it right. Who dropped their tank hammer? Oh, uh, I'm, I, I may have. Or Maybe? I, let's see. I don't know. I've got, you mine. I got mine in my, in my pocket. That's I got probably mine. me. Definitely keep that plan. Oh, it's because I don't have any room. Oh, what are you going to drop? Oh, no. It's the big decision. That's all watch. Uh, happens. You definitely want to take that over just about anything else because you'd have to buy it again if you wanted it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> See the... Gosh darn it. See, I didn't even swear there. I said, gosh darn. I just got a Ghost of Tsushima installed as oh, well. Oh, yeah. I'm so that jealous. Gorgeous. I can't wait. My I, I heard thing that the it, weather, it, it, like, yeah. tailors itself to your play style. I've heard that, too. Like, I haven't paid enough attention to catch that, but I love the way that, the, basically, instead of putting icons out of the environment to tell you where to go, they have the wind lead you where you're going. Yeah. Diegetic stuff like that. Sometimes diegetic stuff can be weird, but that was a perfect one. Like I, I can't think of a better way they could have done that. Uh, James B wonders if we played uh, The Last of Us Two. 
Um, and yes, uh, I, 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 I've won it. And actually I, I did like a whole discussion video of it on my channel. Uh, cause uh, yeah. And, and it, I don't know, I can talk about that game all day, but I don't want to because I'm scared of spoiling it for other people. Yeah. Have, have, have you folks uh, played The Last of Us 2? My PlayStation died. Oh no. Yeah. You have to wait until right. PS5 comes out. I don't have anything I want to drop. So does somebody want this free thing? Free tank hammer? Free tank oh my hammer. Gosh. Jeffrey, you take it. Wait, no, 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 no. Here, here's, here, here's what I'm going to do. Um, you take it. Nellie, what are you holding on to that's so precious? I, I know. I don't know. You know what it is? You know what? I can't figure out how to drop anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Hover, hit Y. Oh, hover it over y? the you want to drop and press Y. What the? Oh, <laughs> oh. See? F-bomb averted right there, too. Yay. So I thought uh, I could... There we go. I can... Oh, there we go. So, uh, Nelly, if you need a bigger backpack, I can drop my backpack for you. Nope, oh, I'm yeah. good. You're good? I'm good. Uh, okay. I'm good. Well, then I'm going to take all this crap back. No more room. Do, do, do. Okay, so we've got, let's see here, just four minutes left. What are we going to do for four minutes? Drive off more cliffs? Mm-hmm. I feel like driving off more cliffs is a good move. Only right. if you hung like uh, hum the like Benny Hill theme <laughs> while we do uh, this. Somebody okay. in chat said, "Is there anyone looking forward to walk the new Watch Dogs?" And I'm yeah. personally kind of looking forward to it just because they're kind of using um, a feature similar to ours, where you go in and can play as any character, and I think that that's the core to our franchise. And so it'll be cool to see like how another game is doing it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the that's the main feature I'm looking forward to seeing there. See how they handle yeah. the whole thing. And I'm a big fan of uh, of Clint Hawking. I think is the uh, the the design guy over there who's who's doing a lot of this stuff. He's, he's a, he did Far Cry 2, I think, and a bunch of other really cool things. And Splinter Cell, I think. I, I hope I'm remembering his lithography correctly and not not crediting him with things that he didn't do. But uh, but yeah, no, he's he's a cool guy. Um, oh no! Oh no! We can make that with a Jeep. We can totally... Oh, here we go. Yes! yes! Into the darkness! <laughs> so, um... Alpha you obviously Seth... meant off-road vehicle there, Jeffrey. Uh, so, uh, Brant, uh, Alpha Seth asks, uh, why is your game named State of Decay? What does that mean? Uh, so, Brant, you're the only one who's here when it was named State of Decay. So, uh, I don't know if that's something you want to answer. Oh, boy. Um, it, we had a lot of discussions uh, about what we should call the game um and um so much of the uh sort of the heart of the game was about um entropy and things like that um that um like the world is I steadily getting worse and you're trying to build something against it yeah i can't remember who actually came up with the original idea it may have been me um it may have been someone else i honestly can't remember uh who exactly um said those words but as soon as they were said we everyone in the room was like oh yeah we got to see if we can get that name and I mean, one thing that, that is nice is like that name hadn't been used by anyone else right like it was it's yeah. it's it's a it's a unique uh, sort of phrase i mean it's it's a familiar phrase it's, it's something you know it does mean something and something is in a state of decay it's slowly it's slowly getting worse and it's something we that, you did, know, you'd we did have one against. rule we did have one rule when we we're when we were in that meeting though and we weren't going to use the word dead in, yeah in i remember country. i remember when i first uh, joined the team which I, I joined to work on the state of decay expansions and a lot of my initial proposals for the names of the expansions like you no know, breakdown and lifeline involved dead puns and uh, I proposed them, and Jeff Stern was like, okay, you didn't realize this. We have no dead puns in our game. We're not just going to throw the word dead into whatever. And, make, and that's just, you know, that joke has been done. Everyone else has done it. We're going to avoid it. We're going to do something something else. And so you'll notice the, none, none of the names of any of our products have the word dead in them. Um, because, you know, because, yeah, we're, we're actively avoiding that. So we got, we've got only one minute left, so I... Uh, I definitely want to encourage anybody, like, no, even though, like, this particular session, we didn't share any, like, brand new reveals of new content that's coming up later. Uh, we do do that kind of stream very, very frequently. In fact, the past 
the past four streams have all involved uh, uh, reveals of new content. So please go and uh, subscribe to our channel uh, if you want to get regular updates about what's coming new, uh, what's coming up in State of Decay. Oh, hey, Aaron, you're getting attacked. <laughs> I'll just take care of that for you. Oh, no, oh. stolen. <laughs> I still killed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. I think, I don't know who got, got credit him. for that. Uh, I got anyway. him. Anyway, so you definitely follow this channel. Uh, you know, sometimes we're just hanging out and answering questions and having fun. Sometimes we're revealing, you know, this is the very first place you're going to hear about brand new content coming into our game. Uh, either way, we'd love to have you here. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, and let's say goodbye to some folks. So uh, Aaron's already there. Aaron, you want to say goodbye to the audience? Goodbye, everybody. It was nice to see you guys again today. Uh, I feel like I've been on a while, so I'm excited to see everyone and know that I'm working on cool things for you guys. Yeah, we so. definitely have to have you back more often. So thanks for coming in here today. Yeah. Uh, Nelly, do you want to say goodbye? Hi, everybody. It was awesome talking to you. Yeah, it was great talking to you too. Good, uh, you know, giving the audience a chance to get to know you, especially because you know, uh, you usually because you you manage people instead of stuff. We usually don't have a good excuse to bring you in. It's not like you made a new gun or something that we can show off. I know. And I know. so, uh, so it's good. It's good to have an excuse to bring you in here and let people get to know you because you do essential work behind the scenes. And then, uh, and then, Brant. Um, as usual, we love you guys. Thanks for coming out and and hanging out with us. Um, we couldn't do it without you. And we'll see you next time. And with that, we're going to get out of here. So yeah, subscribe to our channel to stay informed about future updates. And we're going to sit here and blather for 20 seconds. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Smash that like button. Don't Smash forget to that ring like that button. bell. Smash the like button. <laughs> we should have done the thing where we interrupt the stream halfway through to tell everyone how to subscribe. Just a reminder. <laughs>